Hi right, my friends, how are you all doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to some more Mega Aquarium. Uh, last episode, my friends, is linked above a foyer right now. We did a bit of tunk, tank upgrading tunk. I don't even know what that bloody word is, but yeah, tank upgrading last episode. And we reached level six where the prestige was concerned, um, mainly because we did some tidying up and we added plenty new species to the aquarium. And um, we've actually got some new species that we can add in uh, in today's episode. We're carrying on with research and we're continuing to push forward, basically. Um, I did say last episode, I was thinking about doing some tidying up between that one and this one I, I i didn't get around to it i basically saved the game i walked away from it and then a million and one jobs uh, came up and so i didn't get around to it but um yeah we're just going to jump in once again it's probably going to be a bit of a mad episode and we're just going to continue to add uh things to the aquarium and uh, just continue to grow basically the facility now um i think at the minute things are working pretty well but we are getting to that stage where we're going to need to start adding some new stuff to help the staff work more efficiently and we might have to uh, start adding some work zones as well um so there's uh, there's some jobs that we may do in today's episode first things first though is we are going to add uh, a new species into the aquarium and it is going to be the um, Bosmani rainbows that we researched right at the end of last episode. Um, we've just unlocked the ecology poster. Um, so we we'll just do the padded bench first. Uh, so yeah, let's just get that cracking. So yeah, we're going to add the Bosmani uh, rainbows into this aquarium. Now, they are a shoaler, so you need at least five of them. Uh, three fives is 15, so we've definitely got the space. Um, their water quality should be fine. Um, they need some plants. There, there, there are some plants, and they are an open water swimmer. So um, we need to make sure that we leave some open space in the aquarium. But let's get these in. So one, two, three, four, five. So that's five in there. Um, so yeah, we're going to need some more plants. We're actually going to need some more heat. But I think a lot of that is just because that's broken at the minute anyway. Uh, so that's that. Bloodworm as well. Now we do have bloodworm over here. So I'm not going to add another one over here. We've got we've got the uh, we've got the bloodworm and it should be fine. So let's just add some more plants. Um, to this aquarium and I want to add a flat slate as well because that will give us the ability for the guppies to breed um, and I think breeding is something that w would be quite an interesting uh, touch to try and do now that fuzzy dwarf lionfish has been researched so we'll be doing his tank um, after this one so let's pick the next fish um, to research ladies and gents now I'm thinking of doing the Atlantic Pollock because it's a cold water fish it's a cold water species it's going to require quite a big tank but because i'm just looking at the size nine uh, 16 when fully grown so if you had two of them that's 32 that's quite a big tank so it is a big aquarium but i think i'm going to research them because i think that's the next step basically is me showing you how you um you know make cold water aquariums so we need to get some plants in here we might actually get around to doing what we we start out to do uh, in a moment but um let's tidy this aquarium up anyway because i just threw anything in here uh, threw everything in here a bit mishmash didn't i so we're going to put that there and that there and that's actually going to take our plant in to the uh to the right place there ladies and gents so let's move that rock into that corner um i think then we can move that plant there to the back and then yeah i don't mind the placement of the other stuff but um yeah that that achieves that stuff and then i did say about that flat slate didn't i because of the breeding so that flat slate there um it does say we don't need it but if we want the guppies to breed they they are going to need it so um i think we'll go over in that corner just there like that is it the guppies that need the flat slate i think i've got this wrong actually so the bosmani are not happy yeah they don't have enough space two by two square to swim around they should have they should have but um let me just check the guppies uh to the breeding for the guppies no it's not the gu i've got it completely wrong i have got it completely wrong right let's click on this tank um we're gonna sell that because we don't need it the bosmanis are not they're struggling for 
two by two. There's two by two. Um, I have no idea why. Um, it might be that because it was after I moved that. Nope, still not perfect. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm confused as to uh, why these guys are not happy because they've got more than enough space in there. Um, but apparently don't. be that it might it might genuinely be that right I'm gonna start again okay right that research has been done that's amazing um uh, da, 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 da. I think we'll just start work on that but yeah I'm gonna start this again um See, now they've got enough room. Very weird. Very, very weird. I'm just going to leave it like that for now because the fish are happy. And we've done the research on the Atlantic Pollock as well. Now, I'm going to say something, ladies and gents. You're probably noticing that the research is getting done very, very quickly now. And a lot of the reason for that is we have so many things in the aquarium that are getting the ecology and getting the research through um, quickly for us. So, obviously, the more happy the species are, the quicker these things happen. Um... I am thinking about getting this coral done because obviously we're doing coral tanks at the moment. So I'm going to do that coral. I wouldn't usually do that. I would usually finish one rank first and then start work on the next one. But no, I'm going to I'm going to do that uh, that way. But yeah, I'm just going to leave that tank as it is for now. I think I'll sort it out at a later date. But it's such a problem. Now, one of these fish definitely required slate to be out yes it was them i knew i knew i wasn't going mad ladies and gents i knew i wasn't going mad so um yeah let's um let's get this in here i'm going to put it in that corner and um yeah let's see what happens basically we'll put that in there these are really basic these aquariums around here i have noticed that um but it's just the way it goes now um the lionfish the dwarf lionfish is um, a bit of a difficult one to house. I'm going to be honest with you, this guy. Um, he's five big. Um, he doesn't like going in with other lionfish or anything, basically. Um, you need a skilled feeder. That's interesting. Um, and he's a bit greedy. He eats mussels. I might put him... This is eight, isn't it? Yeah, eight. I might put him in, I might do this little tank here, and I might put him in that with some coral. I think that is what we're going to do with uh, with that guy. Um, I think that is definitely the best thing to do. So let's get this uh, tank here. Um, this is the point where I think to myself, I should have done all the filtration before uh, today's episode, basically. Now, one thing I want to check is we don't have it um so yeah that's gonna be a long way down the line basically until we get that going so yeah 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 um where am i gonna put this uh, i think For now, I'm just going to build like a temporary room um, for this, I think. Uh, will that reach? No, we'll do the two just in case we add any more stuff uh, today. So we'll just stick that there. 
hate it when the people get stuck. Um, right, and then it doesn't require too much, does it, really, this tank? I'll find out once I put the fish in. Now I'm going to pause it right here because um, I need to find out the needs and wants of the fish. So, um, yeah, he should be fine. He should be fine in there like that. He needs a cave. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's going to look really weird, isn't it? If we were to do that. Um, is there nothing smaller? That wood is awful, though. I just don't think that would... I don't think that would work. Um, okay. Maybe not. Maybe not. Uh... Yeah, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Don't know what to do with him now. Don't know what to do with him. He could probably go in there with them. I think that's what we're going to have to do. But there's going to be a cave in there. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, that's what I want. That there. I'll put him in there. It's literally all I can think to do right now but I've started this for no no good reason at all um, let's get that cave then put that in there okay that's fine uh, it will do it will do so we're gonna take this up here now um, we're gonna change this up a little bit so we can uh, give ourselves a bit more room put that there delete that and then uh, we're gonna get a second protein skimmer because the water isn't clean enough uh, stress from being housed with species uh, oh my god I do you know what it doesn't make sense to me this this actual species doesn't make sense to me I've housed him with lionfish before and it said the same thing I'm getting a bit sick of this um Okay then. I don't know what to bloody do now. Um, let's just. Do you know what? I'm gonna. I'm just gonna bite the bullet. I'm gonna just bite the bulletto for now. He's gonna go in there on his own. Um, Yep, that's what's going to happen. We're just going to get the reward and then we'll sort him out, basically. Uh, so, we are going to add that tank and then we're going to um, just basically put a small combi on now. No, we're not. We're going to need something a bit better than... Ah, oh, water quality. So, yeah, we're just going to bang that on there as well and uh, add a door there and yeah that'll do that'll do nicely for now basically um that really weren't ideal i've added another protein skimmer over there probably for no reason whatsoever but it doesn't look nice that really doesn't look nice um i can't even see him where is he where are you he's hiding in his cave isn't he he don't want to come out he don't want to see people don't blame you to be honest fella uh, but uh, yeah we'll sort him out um, I think at a later date I'll try and find a bigger tank for him maybe because um, I wanted this to be very like uh, coral and a lagoon type thing in the middle so yeah we'll do it definitely to something else at a later date so yeah let's get the last of the rank 5 uh, done and dusted with the research um, let's just take a quick look at all this stuff because God, it's all getting a little out of control. Um, we're gonna add, we're gonna add the fixing because our precision is very good. Um, and then all of these, um, delete the growth. And then the convict cichlid ensure all care requirements are met to increase its chances of survival. That's amazing. We've had babies. This is the first time I've ever achieved this, by the way, ladies and gents. So you are experiencing this 
with me uh, at the same time. I'm actually going to pause it because obviously there's some requirements that need to be met. Um, uh, we're going to uh, we've got another skill that we can learn here for uh, GG. Um, I think we will we'll learn fixing because you can never have enough people fixing all the equipment in the uh, in the aquarium. So over here we've got the babies, as you can see, all down there. Um, so we, they have um, they have requirements themselves, the babies. So um, I di I've never done this before, so excuse me why I have a little read. Um, all of these bits are being met, but predit predation reduce survival rate for each predator present. All animals with a size of five or 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 less will predate on eggs and fry, with the exception of the parents. Now I'm going to assume that the parents are the two that are closest. So five predators are present. Reduce survival rate by five percent. Parent is protecting them from predation. Mo uh, final modifier to survival rate of zero percent. Okay, growth increases by one each day. All requirements are met. This species has a base daily survival rate of seventy percent. Currently being affected by the following conditions: none. Okay, cool. So basically. It would help if you had tanks that were set up that you could move the babies into so that the other fish in the aquarium wouldn't predate on the babies, which is really cool. So, okay, I'm, oh, I know it's the first time I've ever done it. I'm not going to go setting up a bloody breeding tank now this time around. We'll just let this play out and see what happens, basically. Um, I guess if we make sure that these fish are being fed, then... You know they won't be hungry enough to want to eat the babies but um from what i was reading there as well we're going to get ecology points off of the babies and five prestige which is which is pretty cool as well so yeah i quite like that i've never done that before never achieved that in the game so yeah the babies are there as you can see with their little weird little eyes and stuff yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about the uh, artwork for the fry, but <laughs> it's still pretty cool. Um, the little fuzzy dwarf dude, um, he's not far off from getting us that 5,000, which would be amazing. We've got someone else has leveled up, so let's see um, what they would be best giving their skill to. Probably the feeding, because um, it's going to give more empathy and stuff. So that's quite a nice. Let's get that going. And yeah, this episode is coming along quite swimmingly, actually. Um, we are getting lots done. Lots, lots done. Um, plenty of new tanks in. Um, right, now, I believe we did unlock another species, didn't we? So let's go and check that out. Yes, the Atlantic Pollock, ladies and gents. So... Um, I think once the little dwarf lionfish has done, I think I might put this in. This is going to probably be quite a big aquarium, um, I would imagine. I'm starting, starting to think where to put it. So, the um, the new corals researched, which is goody good good. So, I just wanted to get the coral, really, from the rank 6, just because of the coral aquariums that we're making. So, that's cool. Um, I think I'm going to get the starfish next, because they're cold water. They'll look quite nice on the bottom uh, in the pollock tank. So, um, let's get those. So, um, first and foremost, let's um, find those coral, shall we? Now, can we put them in here? That is the question. Will this be enough light? Um, and uh, will this work if we were to put them in there? Yes, it will work. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, I am going to be putting some coral in this one as well. Um, and I might start doing that, actually, um, using this one. I'm going to put that coral in the middle. Um, it, needs it needs light, so let's get that done. Because we don't have a light on this aquarium, so that's that done. So yeah, we're going to start putting some coral and some rocks and all that good stuff in this one in the middle as well. We're not going to put crustaceans in there though because the uh, some of the fish in there will eat them and destroy them. I don't think I'm going to put any more coral in this one. 
um, I think that's more than enough. We've got the little hermit crabs in there. So that research is done. So ranked five's um, research is all finito. So now we can start working on rank six. And um, this is where we get to the point where I think I mentioned this either earlier in today's episode or in last episode where we're going to start getting bigger filters, larger combis, and uh, larger sort of like protein skimmers. And so this protein skimmer is a um, pump and protein skimmer double, which is a really cool thing to have. And then you've got RO machines. Um, this is, helps to make water acidic. Now some of the freshwater species we're going to get, and even some of the plants, require the water to be a bit more acidic. So that's other stuff. But I think the first thing we're going to start on, where this is concerned, is the large combi. Because it will come in really, really handy. Because um, I think between episodes, I'm definitely going to redo all the filtration on all the tanks to make it um, a lot more tidy, uh, basically. So we're going to do the large combi first. And then I might do the Cressel tank because that's the one for the jellyfish, which would be a really cool addition. So yeah, let's do the large combi um, first. Now obviously these are going to take a little longer to research. Um, oh my god. More convict cichlids of bread. We're, we've got to house all these babies, you have to remember. Um, we could sell them, I guess. But yeah, look, we've got two lots of babies in here now. Wow, pretty cool. Um, what's the survival rate? The same. So, yeah. Coming along quite nicely. Um, they are very easy to breed, aren't they? You don't really have to do a lot. Just added that little bit in there. And there you have it. Some of the uh, babies have, have started getting bigger, ladies and gents. Which is pretty cool. Oh my god, we've had more. There, yep. The first lot have hatched. And then uh, we've had another lot... Um, be laid now let's see if the um you see if the needs are changed um they can obviously still be um they've still got predators um oh they need a cave to be able to hide in so let's do that um let's get a cave in here put it there they probably needed a smaller cave than that, but obviously there's going to be quite a lot of them hatching, so uh, we've helped them out a little bit, but I'm not going to be creating tanks, just especially for babies. Um, end of the day, in the wild, um, they don't have all this stuff. It's a survival instinct, so we're going to have it as a survival instinct in our aquarium. Uh, but anyway, that's pretty cool. Yeah, nice. That's the first time... I've had that. I know I keep saying that, but it's cool. It's like it's like it's lovely when you do something in a game for the very first time, isn't it? But um, this over here, we need that to uh, we need that to be repaired. There's no root. Oh, yeah, shit. Uh, right. Oh no. Oh no. We're just gonna have to make this bigger, I think. Or we could just move it cloaked that way there, and then move. Oh no, we can't. Uh, okay, this is going to look weird, but this is why I need to tidy all this stuff up. I definitely need to get in here and tidy all these rooms up. Right, the starfish are done. Um. So, let's just go work our way through these now, I guess. Um, right, let's get this cold water tank in. Uh, that's the, the next big thing that I want to do. I'm a little bit worried about this. Um, someone needs to come repair this very, very quickly, if they can. Oh, here we go. He's come bringing his toolbox, even though there's a toolbox in here to make that easier. Here we go. He's having a little mendy mendy. We're definitely going to need to supply some more um, filtration here so that we have more of a backup system for if this ever happens. Because that temperature is plummeting where that's been out of action. And we don't want fish to be dying. Um, oh, prestige is reduced. Oh, it, oh my god, it died. Oh my god. Oh, dearie, dearie me. That's the first time that's ever happened as well. This is an episode of firsts. 
Oh my god. I feel so guilty. It's only a game, and yet I feel so guilty that the animal died. Um, we're going to put some more feeding on there. So that was in there, weren't it? Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, we, need an, we need another one then. Um, yeah, definitely need to redo the filters. Definitely, definitely, definitely need to get the filters redone. Um, in this bloody aquarium at some point. We need to make filtration rooms, I think. Um, that's definitely going to be the next step where this is all concerned. But um, what was I about to do? I was about to do something, and I've completely got lost. Right, we're going to pause it while I do it, because I am getting lost now. Um, we're going to put a cold water aquarium in. It's going to be quite a large one. So we're going to take this wall back here. We're going to get this here. Um, we are... We're not going to do it in the Belfast tank. We're not going to do it in that. We're going to save that. Probably for next episode, actually. I've got an idea of what I want to do with the Belfast tank. Um, I'm going to do a deep water observer tank. Okay. The thing is, it doesn't take the glass all the way back there, does it? Oh, it's the round the wrong way. That 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 might help, uh, Dan, if you turned it round the right way, mate. Um, <laughs> what an idiot! Um, 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 how do I want to do this? I think I'll do it like that. And then... I will... Uh, take that there. Take that there. And take that there. Oh. That looks pretty good, Mr. Money Bunny. Um, we'll take this to here, this to here, um, and we will take this line out at the back here, and then um, we'll be able to get all the way around, which is decent, it's what you want. So yeah, we now have, uh, we're now we about to come in here and walk all the way around, and we'll put a door up here, I think, um, eventually. Um, again, I think... The way I'm going to do the fil... I can't do the filters the way I want to, The way I was thinking of doing them. Uh, put that there. Put that there. So, let's see what we're going to put in here. This is going to be a colder um, aquarium, this one. So, we need to find the Pollock. Because um, they are going to go in here first. So, we're going to go one, two. What is it they get? Um, nine. They start off as nine. But they grow bigger, don't they? Oh, I need to need to do it another way. Uh, yeah, it's sixteen. Right. So two sixteens is thirty-two. Okay. Yeah, we'll have four of them. We'll have four of them in there. Should have more than enough room to do so. Uh, and we then need to all that there and do the filtration basically uh, we are going to have to put chillers on this tank and this is what's different about this one so we're going to link that up to there um, I will redo all this so these are going to be part of this as oh they can't be because of the heaters right that's a completely new thing that I'll probably need to explain to you um, at a later date. But basically, when you make these, if a heat is connected to it, it heats both tanks. So if you are going to go with a cold water tank, you would have to have a chiller only on this. Um, so this can't really be linked up to another aquarium. So probably not the most efficient place to put it unless we were thinking of putting another aquarium here. Which, to be honest with you, we, we probably will because it would really complete this um this room basically to have this tank here this here and another one over here basically um but anyway let's complete what we're doing so we need filtration 
Um, and we need chillers. So the chillers, this is going to be a bit of a nightmare because we've only got the small chiller at the moment. So we're going to have to have three of these small chillers on this tank. Um, but there is a bigger chiller that you can unlock, which uh, we obviously will do at a later date. And I'm just going to put the big pump on there uh, for now. And uh, all this will get tidied up uh, when we unlock the bigger chiller. So um, I'm going to add their food just here, just for efficiency. But um, we are going to open all this up, all these back rooms, and I'm going to really make them look a lot nicer um, for when we come back next time definitely um we're at the half hour so let's get this finished and then we'll call this an episode i think so um yeah we can press play because basically they need to be a met um it's all cold enough for them and uh i think we are going to add some decoration though and i'm going to go with uh i'm going to go with these lovely um these lovely like long kelp plants i think i think this will be a really nice like touch in this aquarium um yeah there we go i think that'd be really really cool and then i'm going to add some um stones as well i think just add some like stones here and there uh in in the tank just to just to add a bit of character really more than anything and so there you have it ladies and gents that's that cold water tank and then we've got the starfish as well haven't we which i'm going to add two of them in there as well so there you have it that's a pretty cool aquarium actually config cichlid as hatched we can delete all the breeding we can delete that as well um we can delete that so we've only got the one thing left on there but yeah that's the that's the the, the first of the cold water tanks as that research is finished let's just crack on with another one uh yeah and that's the first of the colder water aquariums there ladies and gents let's uh, take a good close look at it um, before we close out today's episode but um yeah i really really like that actually that's uh, that's a nice way to do that aquarium as well as they can see it from all all different angles um and yeah those pollock are going to get very large um i've had these before when i've kind of was learning the the ropes of the game and they do get very very large and uh it's good to have the the starfish in there as well just to add a little bit to the bottom but we should get plenty of research plenty of ecology and all that good stuff and actually i'm just looking at this we're really really doing well and working our way to the next bit of research where we're actually going to get shrimp um we're going to get more crabs more starfish um yeah amazing turbo we're going to get some really amazing stuff uh in the next um in the next one so really looking forward to us uh really getting around to doing that but uh yeah really this was just uh, another one where we were just adding more stuff um getting more species in uh and watching it all grow basically but i'm gonna call that an episode uh like i've said a couple of times during the course of this one i'm gonna go away um from today's episode and i'm gonna tidy this up because as i've been going along today i've been losing track a little bit for one but also it's just starting to look really really untidy and there's there's parts in it here where i just don't think there's enough space for the guests uh, to be walking around so i think i'm going to go do a tidy up job i want to tidy up all these filters as well i want to make like proper specialized filter rooms really more than anything um so yeah that's what i'm going to do between episodes when we come back i'll show you what i've done and we'll crack on basically with some more um with some more mega aquarium do, i don't know what to call today's episode do i call it cold water tank or do i call it babies look at all them all look at all the babies in there absolutely unbelievable but um yes my friends we are done and dusted if you're new to the channel please consider hitting the subscribe button if you've enjoyed it drop it a like bell notification button to never miss anything on this channel uh, i do hope you're enjoying all of the content on here and you'll find social discord all of that amazing stuff in the description box below but my friends as we get another fish research that was quick weren't it um i'm gonna call it a day you make sure you rain extra and i'll see you next time Oh, yeah.